Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and it comes in 135 scale. We have quite an interesting model because it's a AR2, so it's a fire truck based on Kamaz truck and as you can see we get it in the popular scale so it means you will get uh, quite a good candidate for a diorama project and we have here the commercial sample so this kit number 35003 uh, you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and by the way what is interesting is that we actually get 003 um, I was thinking that the 35003 came out a long time ago but we have it here so first of all you can notice that the box size barely fits into the video frame so here is comparison with my hand we have really nice box art here and box is quite hefty. This is, uh, I guess, something due to this rear s section of the truck. Here on this side of the box, you can see some information about the rear truck and also about the kit. So if I take a look, we have 330 parts which should assemble into truck with a 228 millimeters length. And then on the opposite side, you will find three marking options for this truck. We will talk about them later when we will be checking the assembly manual with the marking guides inside. But it's really cool that ACM started to include these profiles on the box so that you get the idea of what you will receive in the package. And you can actually, let's say, plan ahead what you would like to copy if you are okay with out of the box markings or maybe you would like to search for something something alternative and use the plastic parts only so you can see that i was cutting the plastic seals which hold this top section in place and actually this top section does not provide any protection it's only a color printed part and you can see it's a quite a tight fitment so just give me a moment to take it off the box. So here it is, it's flexible. And that's why I say it, it does not protect the parts. This white cardboard box protecting the parts. And if I open it, here is what we have inside. So all parts are packed into the same plastic bag. And I will move it to this side. And we will start with the all the components which are supplied here. This is a resealable plastic bag, so it should be quite quick to open. And the only thing is I need to understand how to take it out of this bag because there are a lot of tiny sprues which are falling everywhere, literally everywhere. Okay, so what do we have here? First of all, we have this wheel sprues and maybe I will show them two of them simultaneously so that you can see both parts in one frame I can zoom in a bit and now you can see these parts so wheel parts they look okay but I guess we also get the vinyl tires here this is something you won't be able to avoid so maybe it would be a good idea to search for some aftermarket resin upgrade which will give you a better details in 135 scale and believe me this is a really good investment of your money because it will be a good thing to upgrade on your model. Next we continue with one of two clear sprues and just to show you here is another one the same one. So these parts will be used for the rear section as you can guess and the look quite good but i'm not sure if we actually get the masks templates for these clear sections because uh, otherwise you will have to cut all the stickers by yourself and this is something what you should be ready for because otherwise your paint finish will not look good and i think in 135 scale this is important next we start with the large gray plastic sprue so here i will have to zoom out a bit and now you can see what I'm talking about here. So we have the parts for the front cap. All these panels, they will have to be combined together. What is good, we have the separate doors. We also have the separate roof um, hatch here. We also have the dashboard here. We have seat parts there. And also, I guess those are the door panels here. We have also the drive shaft. Also, we have the 
jerry cans but i'm not sure about this middle uh let's say wrap around i guess this is the bracket for the holder but we will have to check the assembly manual so here you can take a closer look and here we continue with the lower panel we also get the snorkel we get the parts for the seat suspension here in the corner of the right side here next we continue with the wheel fenders which are molded together with the mud guards and here you can see the seat parts and the dashboard so if i zoom out again and if i flip it over here you can see the parts from the opposite side so we have quite a clever design for the overall position it shouldn't be a difficult task to do just pay attention and maybe do some dry fitment in order to get all this stuff together but again thanks to the boxy design of the real truck it shouldn't be a really huge challenge for you Next we continue with some panels, I guess these ones will go for the rear section and the overall design, the overall idea is pretty much the same as what we saw for the front cap, so no surprises here. And molding quality looks fine, so all the attachment points are quite thin and should be easy to cut through. And maybe I will show the other side of the sprue as well. Okay. Next we have parts for the drivetrain here. So this one is quite, I would say, notable because we have two large chassis bars on both ends. But what is also quite important is that we get the drivetrain, we get the engine, we get the gearbox. And the only question will be how to expose all of this stuff because it would be a shame to hide it inside under the cab and not to expose it on, on the model. Maybe you will be able to do the removable front cap, maybe you will be able to build the truck with a tilted front cap. It's up to you, but in my opinion it's something worth showing on the finished truck. And here you can take a look at the opposite side. So for example for the engine parts and gearbox, as you can see it is separated into two halves and we have guiding pins inside so it's also a good design which will help you with overall alignment and fitment of these parts. Next we continue with the parts for the drivetrain again I guess these ones will go for various minor elements for example here we have the um, parts for the exhaust and note that the exhaust is molded as a single piece part we also have some parts for the engine and that's also exhaust sections and note that ex um, this main muffler sections they should be assembled out of two halves we also have the wheel axle here we have some parts uh, thin parts and also steering wheel and air fan cooler and also screen wipers here i'm just looking how the overall quality looks like because a lot of thin parts are placed here but they look quite fine there is no flash or any other possible issues so it's just a matter of uh, clever separation or a careful separation and then you will be good to go next we continue with the parts or panels for the rear section so here you will have to glue these uh, large panels together and by the way these cutouts are exactly for the clear parts and if I flip it over here inside we have some guiding elements but I guess there won't be any interior or if we put it this way any detailed interior included so that's why you will have to think through if you would like to add something inside. Next, uh, you can hear that I'm opening another plastic bag. Here we have clear sprue and also vinyl tires as well. So first of all, I will show you the clear sprue for the front cap. So all of these parts look quite good out of the box. It's really good that they're packed separately, so they are not scratched as you can see, not damaged. And again, returning back to our uh, what something what we mentioned is <laughs> the question if we will get the masks included masking templates masks for sure we will not be there now i'm just looking at the vinyl tires i will show you as well so that you can see them i guess there is no point in opening them these are typical vinyl tires maybe i can bring them closer so that you can see what i'm talking about there are some minor features on the tire walls also the tire uh, pattern looks really 
okay for out of the box build but as i say there are some decent resin alternatives on the market so if you have some extra cash for this project definitely go for it next we also get the decals which are hidden in the assembly manual so here you can see that the decal sheet is not that huge but we have all the necessary symbols for three marking options and also we have dials for the dashboard here but as far as i remember there are also some 3d decals for the camas track in 135 scale so keep it in mind if you would like to have more features in your fire truck next here we have the assembly manual so this one comes in form of color printed brochure and we also get the short history note and the paint set for this truck next here we have the parts map note that some parts are not used i guess they are designed for a different version but there are not that many of them so do not worry about this and assembly process starts with the main chassis and also we get to assemble some suspension parts the wheel axles and here we start working on the engine so for the engine if you plan to expose it it might be also a wise idea to add some wiring but it's up to you whether you would like to go this way or maybe you're okay with what is given out of the box next we assemble the exhaust here and then we continue with the rear wheel axles then we install the drive shafts and some of the suspension parts or linkages then we also installed a few tank supports and also oxygen bottles which should be assembled out of several parts so this thin triangles they are actually the supports for these oxygen bottles we also have the storage boxes being built and also here we have the wheel fenders wheels assembly and then we start working on the rear section which is quite interesting to uh, see it here because as you can see it's a matter of combining several parts together for the uh, lower section or the chassis of this uh, rear cab and then we continue with various minor elements being added here and there as i said it is empty inside so do not even plan to open it and of course we have the rear doors molded shut as you can see here so that's also something to remember but we continue here with various stowage boxes and then we have even more of the stowage boxes on the sides we have railings and then we install all of these uh, things or the whole sub assembly on the chassis then we continue with the so we have the more assembly option one it's written here so i guess on the markings it will depend how you assemble the front cap which is quite interesting by the way we only start assembling for the front cap here which is also unusual for the track assembly but as you can see a lot of things will go into the interior and i do not see masks templates yet so the only hope is that we will see them further in the review but note that you can assemble the front cap in the open position so you can expose the engine which is quite cool and here by the way you can see the final steps no masks templates this is quite unusual for acm to be honest because they started to do this in recent releases and now they stopped it again so quite strange but here we have first two marking options so this one is from mika life and this one is from Odessa and here we have the Kharkiv track from 2015 so the call kit should be already as um, assembled not yet assembled but available in the Madelimex webshop of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel maybe share it with the friends I will be thankful for this and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and Bye.